You can also tweak exactly where you create this unit by offsetting it slightly to the side and so on to make it look like it comes out of the gun. Uh, but I'm not going to go over this. That that takes hours of testing, small tweaking, testing, small tweaking, and so on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to order, order, issue order here. This will issue an order to a unit. Uh, the unit we want to order is the last created unit. Order with targeting a point. The command we're going to use is move. Target point is going to be an offset. Point with polar offset. Here. The default point that we're starting at is the unit position. So we take from the unit position, we take a distance of say 20 in an angle of the firing angle. So then we will order the bane link to move 20 distances or 20 units away in the angle of the firing angle and it should replace existing orders. The last thing we need to do now is implement collision detection and it's extremely simple. We'll do for each integer. Gonna add a temp integer up here. So we're not gonna use it really, we're just gonna take temp in. And we will say 50. It, this is basically also a tweak setting, how many times you should check collision detection, how often you should check collision detection, and so on. This is something you have to tweak to try to get it right. Um, anyway, I'm just going to do it basically now. So here we're going to check. We're going to add an if then, and then we're going to check a condition. We're going to count the number of units. Number of units in region, number of units in unit group, yeah. Living units, unit group, uh, units in region with alliance to player. The region, not surprisingly, is going to be the temp region, our collision detection zone. They're going to be an enemy of player, the parameter. There's a difference between variable and parameter up here, so hopefully you notice that. Parameter triggering player, just notice this is outside there. Uh, missile dead and hidden, we should exclude any amount. If this is greater or equal to one, then obviously we found something inside this region. Now, in the then clause, here you can do whatever you want when you found the unit. You can take the unit and apply a damage debuff to it by applying a debuff. Um, uh, behavior here, add behavior or add behavior player. You can uh, add the behavior to the unit. You could uh, uh, display some special effects by creating actors or you can do whatever you want for what's going to happen when this missile impacts. And I'm just going to issue an order to our bane link since the bane link has a nice little explode anyway to the unit, uh, last created unit. Order with order targeting a unit. I'm gonna order it to attack. Not the triggering unit. I'm just gonna take a um, random unit from unit group and we're gonna set up the same unit group as we set up there. This you could optimize a bit by maybe setting unit group once up here, but uh, this is fast enough. If it's single player, multiplayer, in multiplayer, I would rather use the patrol uh, collision detection that you're going to show off later. It depends a bit. These collision detections can lag. I have not tested it. So, depending on how many missiles you have and so on, so on they might need optimization. Anyway, let's get moving again. Um, in region with alliance to player, as we did earlier, region, same region, enemy to player. Parameter, triggering player, uh, not missile, blah, 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 that's fine, any amount. So now it's just going to attack a random unit that is within this region. Since this region is very tiny, the, the unit is going to be right on top of the baneling or right on top of our missile when this happens. And then uh, it's just going to 
blow up there. Uh, now we're going to need one more thing here. We're going to need, uh, or two more thing, things. We're going to need a wait command here. This will specify how often we should run collision detection. So I'll take 0 0.05. You can run it more often or less often, depending on, so by tweaking this setting here, the time, and this, how many times you can get, well, you can adjust basically how long your li missile will live. You could also add something in either in the else uh, in the else clause here, for instance, where you create an effect each time it loops through, um, or every other time it loops through, or whatever, uh, creating an effect to do something fancy like uh, something that trails after your unit, or make a fire up here behind your missile, or whatever you want. It's up to you, just place it in here. I'm going to add one more thing here, skip remaining actions, so that after it's ordered to attack, I'm just going to leave it, because then it's going to blow up anyway. And finally, at the bottom, I'm going to uh, kill unit. Here I could also remove it, but I want my missile to blow up after it. If it doesn't hit anything, I want it to blow up. And the banings blow up on that. Last created unit. All right, that's it. Uh, we're going to have to set some things in data editor. But basically what this will do is when I click, uh, not any mouse button, let's click the left mouse button, it will call up this function. This function is going to create a bane line facing in the firing angle at the position of my unit for the player that triggers it. It's going to attach a region to this bane link, this tiny little 0 0.5 region here. It's going to change the height so it's a bit above the ground, uh, this bane link that we created. And it's going to order the bane link to move towards where we fired it. Then we're going to check 50 times with 0 0.05 seconds between each time if there are any enemy units within this little region. And if there is, we're going to attack them, which will cause the bane link to blow up. If no, no unit has been found by the end of these 50 checks, we're just going to kill it and the missile will blow up. So now we're going to move into the data editor. And I already found the bane link here in, under the unit tab. And we're going to have to change a few things. Uh, the first thing I am going to change is I'm going to make sure that the bane link doesn't collide with my unit. So I'm going to go to collide here, and I'm going to uncheck ground. Then I'm going to go to the mover, and I'm going to put it to fly. I'm sorry, I'm going to pull it into the screen so you can see it, to fly here. The plane array, I'm just going to change to air. So now it's a flying unit that doesn't collide with anything. That way it doesn't look weird and try to move around the marine or spawn at the side of the marine. It will spawn right off the top of the marine. Then I'm going to go up here and find speed um, somewhere. <laughs> uh, if you can't find anything, just type, type what you're looking for. Speed, movement speed. I'm going to up it to 10. That's fine. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the left side here. And I'm going to go to actors. Click the Baneling actor. I'm going to scroll down. Model. I'm going to change it to the Marauder. LM weapon, which is my Marauder missile. If you want to find uh, a model, specific model, then look through the unit and the weapons and so on until you can find it, uh, find the model you want, and then just change that. Uh, one more thing I'm going to do, actually, that I forgot. I'm going to go to flags here, and I'm going to check this as a missile, and I'm going to check it as invulnerable. And uh, Let's see, is there anything else you want to check? You can check a lot of nifty stuff here. Um, ah, that's fine. Cannot be clicked, cannot be highlighted. So. Alright. So now let's try this. Let's see what happens. Maybe I failed miserably and this won't work at all. Or maybe we actually have a marine firing missiles that explode on impact and explodes if they don't hit anything. I have the trigger debugging window up. Close this if you're doing something. It might be lagging your game. So I click. You'll see the missile. 
and it blows up. You will see I should probably reduce the amount of checks because it stands still for a little bit at the end there. This is a tweak setting, the reason for this, if I go to my trigger editor,